Welcome to skill builder number two. We have three really cool skills or hacks for you. We are going to go in this order, lead tape deer. We're gonna show you a bunch of different ways to add lead to your hook shank. Tape, we're gonna show you how to use packing tape to make really cool stonefly, caddisfly, or hopper wings out of any feather. And the deer part is we're gonna show you how to put deer hair in a dubbing loop. You're just gonna to wanna to watch this one because when we twist it up, it looks awesome. This is skill builder number two, and you better like and subscribe or Brigham's gonna be sitting here. This is a really simple one. I'd say difficulty one out of five, but I see this one done incorrectly quite a bit. Very common to see someone wrap their hook with thread and then want to put some lead on it. Lead's always easiest to apply to a bare shank, in my opinion. So what I like to do is I like to give myself a little grab on tab in the back and then I just keep the lead right on the spool and I wrap it as if it were fly tying thread, okay? So once I get to where I want to finish, it's wrapped nice and tight, it will rotate a bit, but all, all I'm gonna do is keep hold of this, take this one and pull back toward myself as I helicopter back and forth, and as you'll, you'll see it even tapers down that lead like we even meant for it to be there. The reason why I leave this one long is the same thing, the thing about this is if you just yank on this and start pulling it, it will unravel on your hook. So you want to make sure that you grab onto it first, onto the, the, the excess part, and then you can pull and wiggle at the same time. Okay? As you can see, I just took my thumbnail, pushed that in, and that's a really smooth uh, wrapping point. You can wrap stuff over the top of this. Now. If you want to add extra weight to your lead, um, what you can do, or extra weight to your fly, you can just take more lead, and it can even be a smaller size, and just wrap right over the top of that. So as you can see, same principle, I'm wrapping over the top. Now this is really cool. If I take this, pull it, and wiggle it, you can see how this little lead pushed out and it makes a little gap for this one to go into. So if I do that same thing, look, it even builds that right into the, the lead in front of it. And if I do that with my fingernail again, again, there's it's just all one piece of lead at that one point. I'll try doing that on this other side in front of the camera. There we go. So you see that one kind of curved out. We just kind of kick that back over there, thumbnail it in place and then we have a whole bunch of lead on that hook. Anyway, that's just a real uh, quick tip on how to wrap lead on a hook and, and double up your lead. Okay, we're gonna show you a really cool way to make caddis or hopper wings out of soft hackle feathers. Now you can use any feather for this. You can use like pheasant, uh, church window feathers. You can use um, Coq de Leon hen. Most hen saddles will work well with this. This is one of the Brahma wing pairs that's really cool. So I farmed off one of those feathers. I'm just gonna prep it by pulling out all the fluff. And now I just have some packing tape right here that I stole from the warehouse. And I'm just gonna place that either shiny or dull side down, however you want it. And just kind of tap that in there. And now it's pretty well glued in there. From here, I'll just cut that feather out. The dull side I'll show you because it will show a little bit better in the camera, but we have a super durable feather now. So what you can do to get this to look like a caddis wing is you can just fold it. So I'm going to fold that dull side down. Or you can fold it dull side up, doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to come in here and make an angled cut. Now you've got a cool caddis wing. You can trim that up on the sides. But as you can see, there, there are lots of opportunities for use on, on all kinds of feathers with tape. Another cool one is a blenderm tape. You can find it. It's, it's uh, like a medical tape, but 
very special specialty tape. It's really flexible and it's kind of a matte color. But anyway, tape with feathers is a cool hack. This is a really, really cool hack. I've played with this quite a bit. We have a few videos with this in it, but I'm just going to show it by itself. But we're using our fancy uh, chip clip here. And you can use like the D-loop tweezer from Loon as well. But the idea is we're going to get some of this deer hair and we're going to prep it in a dubbing loop. It's super easy with this. So the reason why this is shaped the way it is, is this actually helps you pick through the hair. So to get a dubbing loop of deer hair, as you can see, I've got a really nice patch of deer hair and I've already farmed one, one loop worth of hair off of it. So if I just open this up, I can kind of use that point to peel off almost just one layer of deer hair all the way down. So once I get that all in there, you can see how I've got it in the clip now. I'm going to slide that back a little bit. I'm just going to simply fold that over. Okay. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit more and I'm just going to trim. I might have to get my head over this to see what I'm cutting. So bear with me if I cut anything I shouldn't. Put your finger down here, Briggle. All right. So now I've farmed that all out. Get rid of this. From here I can move the deer hair around. I can redistribute it on the clip if I want. Um, you can pull some out if you think you have too much. And in this case, I don't want it to be super, super long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and trim it. Just like that. We are now going to take this deer hair and we're going to put it into a dubbing loop. This is 50 denier GSP thread, nano silk, uh, GSP, all the same thing. It's a gel spun polyethylene thread that's pretty much indestructible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just build a dubbing loop. I like to use 50 denier because I want it to be thin enough to really spin up on the deer hair. And I'll just close off the loop by crossing over behind it. And then I'm just going to wrap that thread forward. All right. Once I have that, I'll get my fancy dubbing twister. And I'm going to take this deer hair now. And I'm going to take this whole tool and just put it right in the loop. So if I put that in the loop, I can move the tool up and down this loop to figure out exactly where I want it. And I'll put it about right there. I use my finger here to guide where that is. And I just open it up and put it in there. I can adjust this up and down if I want. I really like the way that that is sitting right there. Now, this is a really cool technique right here. And we can use this to build like the a trimmed body of a fly, a wing, a collar, a soft hackle, all different types of things. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist that up and you can see how really cool that twists up the hair. And if I give it a little bit of a tug, it twists it up even more. Okay. So when I use the rotary feature, I can just wrap that forward. And obviously you wouldn't have to do this, but it's a really cool way to build a body. Like you can, you can turn this into a Goddard cat. It's pretty simple. So I'll trim that off and then I'll just kind of show you some options with the body. Let me throw a quick whip finish into it. That thread is so slick. And also when you're cutting your GSP, if you just take your scissors and open them up a little bit and just push them into it. That way you don't ever have to chomp down. It's a little easier on your scissors. So as you can see, that body has a lot of depth on it. And I could just come in here and trim the belly. Heck, we could even fish that just like that as a skater. Anyway. Real cool way to put deer hair in a dubbing loop. If this was helpful for you, subscribe and like the video. We're going to be doing these every single week. And also, if you have suggestions on what you want to see or a hack that you know, holler at us. Shoot us a message, any of that stuff. We'll put it on the channel.